In this video, I will explain how a signature is created and validated. Before I explain how a signature in a bundle is created and validated, it is important to understand how IOTA addresses are calculated. In IOTA tutorial 9.1, I have explained in detail how the key, digest and address are created. Here is a short explanation. The key, also known as the private key, is generated using the seed, index number and security level. The index number is an integer and every address has a corresponding index number, which means address 0 has index number 0, address 1 has index number 1, address 3 has index number 3, etc. This is the generated key. The generated key is divided in segments of 81 trites each. Each square is a segment, and each segment consists of 81 trites. If you have selected security level 1, you will have 27 segments. If you have selected security level 2, you will have 54 segments. And if you have selected security level 3, you will have 81 segments. Each segment is hashed 26 times. 27 segments together forms a key fragment. This is one key fragment, this is one key fragment, and this is one key fragment. And each key fragment is hashed one time to create the digest. Here is also a key fragment which is hashed one time to create the digest. Here is also a key fragment which is hashed one time to create the digest. Depending on the selected security level, one, two or three digests are combined together. For security level 1, you only have one digest and you hash it one time to get the address. If you have selected security level 2, you combine this digest and this digest together, hash them one time to get the address. And if you have selected security level 3, you take this digest, this digest and this digest together, hash it one time to get the address. Please remember, to create an address, you start hashing the segments 26 times. Now let's see how a signature is created. This is the key. This is called the signature fragment. And this is called the key fragment. As mentioned earlier, the generated key is divided in segments of 81 trites each. Dependent on the selected security level, you will have 27, 54 segments or 81 segments. To create a signature, you first calculate the normalized bundle hash. The bundle hash is explained in IOTA tutorial 15 and the normalized bundle hash is explained in IOTA tutorial 16. These values represent the number of times each segment needs to be hashed. This segment needs to be hashed 25 times, this segment needs to be hashed 20 times, etc. Let's see what these values are. Let's assume this is our bundle hash with a total size of 81 trites. This is a block of 27 trites. This is another block of 27 trites. And this is another block of 27 trites. In IOTA tutorial 16, I already have explained how the normalized bundle hash is calculated. This is our bundle hash and this is our normalized bundle hash. These are all trite values and these are the decimal representations of these trite values. You can use the IOTA trite alphabet to find the corresponding decimal value for each trite. Apply for each decimal value the following calculation. K is 13 minus the decimal value. For example, 13 minus minus 12 is 25. 13 minus minus 7 is 20. 13 minus 12 is 1, etc. These values are the number of times to hash each segment to create the signature fragment. This is number 25, 21 and 23. And here are the numbers 25, 21 and 23. This key segment needs to be hashed 25 times to get this signature fragment. This key segment needs to be hashed 20 times to get this signature fragment. You need to do the same for all key segments. These 27 segments together is the signature fragment 
and this signature fragment consists of 2187 trites. This signature fragment is the same signature fragment you store in the transaction bundle. This signature message fragment can hold a message, but it also can hold a signature. And this signature message fragment field can hold 2187 trites. To create a signature fragment, go to this link and search for the function signature fragment. This is the link. This is the signature fragment function. And this is the calculation I have previously shown you. 13 minus the decimal value. Depending on the selected security level, you will have one, two, or three signature fragments. As mentioned before, a transaction object stores a signature fragment in the signature message fragment field. This field size is 2187 trites, and additional transaction objects are needed to store the remaining signature fragments. Please note, signature fragments is the same as signature message fragments. Now I will show you how a signature is validated. To validate a signature in a transaction bundle, extract all corresponding signature message fragments from the bundle. Depending on the selected security level, you will have one, two or three signature message fragments. The combined signature message fragment is called the signature. This is a transaction object example. We are using security level two. This is the signature message fragment. This is our first part of the signature message fragment. This transaction object has current index 1. And this is our next transaction object in the bundle with current index 2. And here is the second part of our signature message fragment. Our signature consists of the first signature message fragment and this second signature message fragment. Next, we need to extract this bundle hash. This bundle hash is the same as the previous bundle hash. We use the same picture as before, but now we ignore this part. A signature consists of one, two, or three signature message fragments, depending on the selected security level. We extracted the signature fragments from the bundle. This was our first part of the signature fragment, and this is our second part of the signature fragment, because we are using security level two. To validate a signature, we again use the bundle hash. Let's assume this was our bundle hash and normalize it. Please note this bundle hash is the same when you created the signature and when you validate the signature. This also means that the normalized bundle hash is the same when creating the signature and validating the signature. Again, we convert each trite in the normalized bundle hash to its decimal value. When we created a signature, we used this calculation. But when we validate a signature, we use this calculation. So 13 plus minus 12 is 1. 13 plus minus 7 is 6. 13 plus 12 is 25, etc. These values represent the number of times to hash each segment to validate the signature fragment. This is number 16253. And here are the numbers again, 1, 6, 25, 3. We hash this segment of the signature fragment one time to get this segment. We hash this segment of the signature fragment six times to get this segment, etc. These 27 segments forms a key fragment. And these 27 segments forms another key fragment. When you hash this key fragment one time, you get the digest. The same applies for this key fragment and this key fragment. If you use security level one, you only need to hash this digest once to get the address. If you selected security level two, you combine both digests together, hash them to get the address. And if you selected security level three, if you combine three digests together, hash them, you get the address. When this address is the same as this address in your bundle, then this signature is validated.
This part is used to create the signature. And you use this part to validate the signature. If you look at these two numbers, 25 and 1 is 26. 20 and 6 is 26. 1 and 25 is 26. 23 and 3 is 26. It is the same when you create an address. 26, 26, 26. To validate a signature fragment, go to this link and search for the function validate signatures. It is also interesting to see the digest function. This is the link. This is the validate signatures function. And this is the digest function. And here's the calculation I have shown you before, 13 plus the decimal value. Here's an overview to create and validate a signature. In this example, we use security level one. When you create a signature, you use the key, you use a normalized bundle fragment. These are its stride values. You convert it to its decimal values. And you do this calculation, 13 minus the decimal value. You use these numbers, 25, 21, and 23, to hash the key to get the signature fragment. This signature fragment is stored in a transaction object. To validate a signature, you use the same signature fragment. This signature fragment is this signature fragment. You use the same normalized bundle fragment. These are the trite values. These are its decimal values. And you use this calculation. 13 plus the decimal value, 16253. These numbers are used to hash the signature fragment to get the key fragment, hash it one time to get the digest. You hash the digest one time to get the address. And this address should match the address used in the transaction object inside your transaction bundle. I can now finally explain why a normalized bundle hash should never have tried value m. If the normalized bundle hash was allowed to have value m, then the calculation was 13 minus 13 is 0. Let's assume that this value is 0. If this is 0, then this key segment is not hashed at all. This part of the signature fragment will reveal this part of the key. And that is something you don't want to do. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. If you have questions, leave your comments below. I'll do my best to answer them.